The next question is like the last question, why does one have to have a teacher to do this work? How can one know if they have found a real teacher or not? This is another good question because everybody says they found a real teacher and maybe everyone has. Maybe everyone has found a real teacher. If that's true, then why does the world look like it looks? Why do we look like we look? Why is our life like it is? Why is it that everything in life repeats? Why is it that we still have wars? Why is it that we're still, we still have, what is that road rage on the roads? Why is it that people are still doing that? Why is it people are still stealing from each other and killing each other? Why is it people are still harming each other? Why is it people are still harsh with one another? Why is it, if everybody's got a teacher and if everybody's got a good teacher, a real teacher, why is it that none of the real teachers are teaching anything real? And what would real be? Well, real would be something that would get you out of this. I don't mean dying and going to heaven or paradise or nirvana or whatever or into a higher life form. What I mean is get you out of this repetitive rut of constantly doing the same things over and over and over again, constantly reacting in the same negative way to the same type of person. We all have people in our lives that it's a task not to be negative with them. Then we have other people in our lives and it's a task not to fall in love with them. And we need to not fall in love with them and we need to not be negative with the others. We need to be making decisions on our own, not reacting. So where are the real teachers teaching you how to really do that? How do I know if I found a real teacher? Do you like the person? If you do, you need to be suspicious because a real teacher is not a very likable person. A real teacher is going to be somebody that's going to step on your corns, not deliberately, not just for spite, but they're going to do it. A real teacher is someone who will take the dirty end of the stick so that you can have the clean end and then often will whack you with that stick just when you thought you were safe because we need to wake up, people, and waking up is not a pleasant thing to do. It's a very unpleasant thing to do in the beginning. Now, later, you want to be awake more and more, but in the beginning, it's a very unpleasant experience. I've heard it said that real teachers have to be fully conscious, fully enlightened. Well, great, then there are like two real teachers. Gurdjieff said if there are 200 conscious beings, conscious men on the planet, the entire planet would be different. So I think maybe he meant man number seven, the highest form of man that is attainable, that's possible for us. We're man number one, two, and three, hoping to be man number four, a balanced man. Man number five, six, and seven, we can look at and go sigh. Oh, <laughs> maybe someday, but we know better. We know better not even to go there. Why, why even think, oh, maybe someday? Why bother? The task before us is so big, it's so strong right now. Why bother with that kind of madness? It just goes right to imagination right to daydreaming, and that doesn't do us any good at all. We need to stay real. A teacher, you can tell if you've got a real teacher because he'll constantly be dragging you back to that. He'll constantly be reminding you, <laughs> you're not awake, you can't do, you're not one. No matter how awake you are, no matter how much you can do, and no matter how more unified you are inside, your teacher is going to constantly be pointing out the areas where you can work again, where you can work something else. That's unpleasant. Encouragement is not something you need a lot of from a teacher. That leads to things that I have found to be not very good. The important thing about a real teacher is not whether or not you have found a real teacher, but whether or not you have made it to the place where you're willing to be a real student. Because if you're willing to be a real student, almost anyone can be a real teacher because life is a real teacher. Your husband, your wife, your kids will be real teachers. If you're a real student, if you're really sincere and really genuine, you really want this, you'll find a real teacher and you won't have to worry about it. So that's what I think about that. And they don't necessarily have to be conscious. They don't even have to know they're a teacher for you. All they have to be is there. All you have to be is a real student.